everybody doing this fine evening? Uh, the Michael Badio Rocket Guitar is in the drawing phase. Uh, preliminary sketches of what the guitar is going to look like and the component parts. I've decided to go with a stop and tailpiece design with a uh, EMG 81 in the bridge and an EMG single coil in the neck pickup. Um, with the selector switch being a switch like that so this is basically I might elect to go with a slimmer body style this is going to be a replica relic of his rocket guitar I'm not using a 29 fret neck but actually a 24 fret neck because you know you really can't find aftermarket 29 uh, fret necks so I'm going to have to make do with 24 um, I'm going to use either wooden uh, circular where I've got this metal this uh, really aluminum metal and it's going to be an aluminum sheet on the top which I'm going to pick up from Lowe's they have aluminum or Home Depot actually they do have aluminum sheets and the body itself other than the aluminum is going to be metallic silver um, if you've seen pictures of the guitar and I'll post probably some pictures in the comments section below you'll see what the guitar looks like but uh, this is a slightly larger body uh, than the original. I might go with a little slim down version, but like I said, it's just a copy, so it doesn't have to be exact. It can be to my specifications, but yeah, this is going to be very cool. Um, and I'm going to shape the headstock to the Washburn uh, headstock shape. So it's going to be pretty cool. So, uh, all right, yeah, just want to give you a quick update on the Michael Badio rocket guitar in the drawing phase. But uh, stay tuned to my channel and my page on Facebook, and I'll take every step of the way, every uh, decision I make, and every process move that I make to create this guitar. So this is the very beginning. This is how it starts. So, all right, and I hope everybody has a good night, and we'll see you soon. Good morning everybody, alright, time to start on the Michael Badio Rocket Electric Guitar Build. Here's the uh, updated drawing, I changed it a little bit here and there, I added a few things, made things skinnier, just kind of put my own little touch on it, but today is April 22nd, 2022, it's Friday, uh, weather is beautiful outside. Here in the guitar room. Awesome. But the uh, it's gonna be sweet. I've got everything I need for this guitar, like I said before. So uh, time to cut out the template to paper, you know get the paper template. I'm gonna get some scissors and cut out the plate and then get some of the wood ready and then we'll start the process. It's gonna be pretty awesome. 24 fret. And I got the special switch that actually has an LED built into it. So the way I'm going to wire it, I'm going to have the single coil and then the EMG single coil. It's a passive pickup, actually. And then the EMG 81 in the bridge, and that's an active pickup. And with the switch, I'm going to hook it up to the battery to where when it's in the down position, it activates the bridge and the neck pickup and then the LED from the switch is going to come out the tip. It's going to be a white LED. It's really cool. And then when the switch is flipped up, it's the LED is going to be off and it's just going to be the single coil. So you can have the dramatic effect between the two and it should work out pretty sweet that way. But yeah, I got that plan. All right. Next step is going to be cut it out and then get the wood ready. And I'm going to do the same thing like I did on the Playboy bunny head guitar. I'm going to have thicker plywood, three quarter inch plywood on top, and then the uh, half inch plywood on the bottom. I was thinking about going with the two, uh, both layers being the three quarter inch, but the only thing bad about that is this guitar is going to be already heavy as it is because I'm going to have the metal plate. I've got the aluminum that um, I've got the steel that I'm going to cut out, and that it's got a certain amount of weight to it, so I don't want this guitar to weigh 15 pounds or anything. So I'm going to elect for a little bit thinner of a body, and that shouldn't really affect everything. Because these are going to be beveled. These are beveled. All these sections here, they're actually beveled downward, uh, like on the original guitar. And let me see if I got some pictures I can pull up here. Yeah. Okay, so on the original guitar, 
we see how it's those sections are actually beveled so that's going to be cool and it's beveled on the inner parts the one fin and then the top fin that's how I got it drawn like that like that's going to be beveled and I'm just going to you know plane it away or you know I'll do I'll figure out something files or whatever but those sections are going to be recessed so it's going to be pretty cool and then if you see on the back here headstock I'm gonna make that shape you see on the back here um, what was I gonna say I can't remember what I was gonna say okay yeah see how I, I made that extra notch I didn't have that in the original drawing but I added it the net the extra notch so that'll be pretty cool so it's gonna be awesome so all right and here's some other pictures of the guitar the original Michael Batty of Rock Guitar. Alright, we'll see you next step. We'll see you in a sec. This is going to be epic and it's going to be awesome. I can't wait to get going. Okay, let's talk to you soon. Alright, got to cut out the paper template. And you know what? I had an epiphany with this build already. I'm actually going to use, seeing as how this is the original, you see how the bevel, like I had said in the past clip, the bevel here. What I'm going to do, instead of using a three quarter inch and a half inch piece of plywood, I'm going to use three half inch pieces of plywood. Seeing how I'm going to glue the layers together anyway, and the top layer, get this, this is going to be awesome. I just, it just came to me, because I've done this before. Remember when I did the, uh, the, uh, the Prince Cloud guitar over there? With the, uh, the double neck cloud guitar. I did the bevels similar to this, but not an exact or anything like that. I'm going to have the bottom two layers that are going to be the full shape. Everything on this paper. And then the top layer is just going to be, I'm going to cut this out. And then I'm going to cut the top layer minus the bevels. And then I'll just use the body filler and fill the bevels in. That would be so much easier and so much quicker than actually trying to, you know, take some wood uh, grinding tools and grind in wood that way. And it's going to be, this is going to be completely uniform and it's going to look just like that. And to have it a little bit thicker, the guitar body is going to be a little bit thicker than it would be if I used the three quarter inch and a half inch. It's going to be... You know just a little bit fatter which is what i kind of want and with the metal plate on top it's gonna be awesome but yeah that just came to me three layers um it's gonna be so sweet and uh and i'll cut the neck pocket with the top layer and then i'll see if i'll have to need to go further down into the second layer so yeah all right so i'll get the wood ready and we'll see you next step this is bruce tree says he he's a little hot it's about 79 degrees here in Central Florida, it's starting to get, it's that time of year. It's going to start getting warm. All right, we'll see in a little bit. All right, got my half-inch plywood ready. Got my circular saw. And the measurements are going to be 14 width and 24 long. And I'm going to have three pieces. So I'll be able to get three out of this one sheet. And yeah, I get quite a few. And these, these guitars really aren't that big in general. So all right, we'll see when I cut all three pieces. We'll see in a second. Yeah, all right. another change actually. I decided to go with uh, actually three quarter on the bottom. That way, when the neck uh, plate ties into that, it's solid piece. And then for the top two pieces, I've got the half inch. And like I said earlier, they're cut uh, 24 long by 14 inch wide. And I think the advantage of this is the bottom two are going to be the full shape. The top, like I said earlier, the top is going to be cut smaller so I can use the body filler to bevel it in but I think the advantage of doing it like this um, it's not extremely fat I mean it's probably gonna be with the metal piece you know and I mean I, I seen the Michael Batty original and see the uh, the poles are gonna go into the, the two bottom pieces and then the top piece is gonna be the bevel piece so this is gonna work out good so yeah it's gonna be fine so there we go all right now the next step I guess would be to uh, temporarily join these three pieces together and then to trace out the outline oh well, you've seen me done on many builds before trace out the outline and then do all three pieces the one the bigger shape and then I'll cut out the smaller portions on the top piece and then get all three pieces together and we'll see you next time all right temporary anchoring all three of these pieces together temporarily with three screws I thought I'd show a couple seconds of doing this, and it's not a big deal, but I've been just showing the camera before. Yeah. Hard piece and 
holes. And it's temporary just so I get the scroll saw out and I cut out the shapes. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, tracing out the shape. And I temporarily attached the three screws, like I had said. And <laughs> there's the shape. Pretty cool. Alright, with the, uh, the two top layers being the half inch and the bottom being three quarter. Now I'll get the scroll saw and then cut these three out. And then I'll trim the little bits right there. And then I'll transfer that to the top layer, and then I'll cut them pieces, and then we'll be good to go. All right, we'll see you next step. All right, got the scroll saw teed up, ready to cut out the shapes. And I have to say, it is a beautiful day here in Central Florida. Awesome. Spring is in full effect. <laughs> Leaves on the trees. Wow. Okay, so let me get some cutting done, and we'll see you in a sec. Alright, got one cut done. Looking pretty good. Alright, we'll see you in a sec. Alright, got the the, the bolt, you know, the full shape cut out. <laughs> it looks pretty sweet. Yeah. And I, I tested it in my, my you know, I, I put it on my lap and it, it, it fits perfectly. It's just the perfect shape. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my template and I'm going to trim the uh, extra bits off and then once I get that done then I'll retrace that onto this and then the top layer I'll cut the extra bits off all right we'll see you in a little bit all right got the uh, the extra bits traced out <laughs> it's gonna be cool yeah I'm glad I just thought of this last minute this wasn't I didn't even plan this to be the way I was actually gonna take the time to take the wood and shave it down and all that but this is just gonna make it so much cooler and it's so much more precise it's gonna be like a bracket so yeah all right so let me uh, unattach these three piece layers and then cut the top layer and I'll be right back all right got the extra bits cut out <laughs> extra bits. and there's what it's gonna look like <laughs> that is sweet look at that that's pretty cool. Yeah, once I get this lined up, all these pieces, I'm gonna get it lined up. I'll be right, right, be right back. All right, got them all lined up and got the extra bits. I'm not sure if my last clip took or not. The phone was acting kind of weird. So, yeah, here's the extra bits, and here's what the guitar looks like all lined up with the extra bits. And I'm, what I'm actually going to do, next step is I'm going to glue the top two pieces together. The, the top piece and the middle piece, I'm going to super, you know, glue them together. Then I'm going to take uh, some wood filler and fill in on a slant all of these bits. And that'll make it look like the uh, Michael Badio rock guitar. And the bevels will be complete. <laughs> it looks pretty sweet. And then I'll figure out... <clears throat> Yeah, you know, the spacing and everything with that, but then the next step would be to put a round edge. I think on the top I'm just going to sandpaper the edge, round it real good. Um, and then on the back I might do the Dremel tool round it, but I'm not sure. I might just sandpaper it too. But uh, yeah, alright. I'll uh, wait and we'll catch up with you next step. Alright, all right, ready to glue the top pieces together. I uh, traced out where not to put the glue. So I'm gonna glue these top two pieces together. So I'll lay down a bead of glue and then I'll see you when I get that done. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, got the top two pieces glued together. Pretty good. And then I uh, temporarily fastened all three together again with the uh, the screws. <laughs> it looks pretty cool. Yeah, see, I'm gonna fill that in with body filler. And that's gonna be way easier than getting the rasp and you know trying to shave that wood perfectly. This is it's gonna it's gonna make it so much easier. I'm gonna get that perfect look. All right, so what the next step is? I'm gonna get the orbital sander, and I'm gonna sand these lines, and I'm gonna make these perfect. So, all right, let me get the orbital sander out, and I'll be right back. All right, got the orbital sander out, and I sanded everything, all the edges, and everything looks perfect. 
Yeah. Check that out. That's pretty cool. All right. So what the next step is going to be, I think for the top, because uh, it's going to have the metal plate on the top, I don't want a severe kind of round edge. So I'm just going to sandpaper. All right. Looking good. Uh, I don't know. The phone cut out a lot, you know, ran out of memory space. I had to go, uh, you know, dump everything in the computer. But anyway, I don't know if I had mentioned this before, but all right, next step is going to be the, uh, I think on the front, I'm just going to sand the edges to get a soft edge because see, it's going to have a metal plate on the top. But on the back, I'm going to go ahead and do my usual uh, Dremel tool. Um, I'm going to use a Dremel tool and then make the round edge. That way it's, you know, on your body, it feels real good. All right, we'll see you next step. All right, got my Dremel tool hooked up with that same bit that I love to use there. And I'm going to take these sharp edges all the way around and round them off. All right, we'll see you when I'm done. All right, got all the edges nice and smooth. I sandpapered the uh, edges on this side. And on the back side, I Dremel. So it's looking good. Let me see if I can get a better light angle with the edges. And, you know, as I was looking at this, I was actually pondering, I could do my first Floyd Rose, I mean, do my Floyd, you know, like the original rock guitar has Floyd Rose bridge, but then I was thinking the neck that I bought, the 24 uh, fret neck, doesn't have uh, the locking nut, so just going to stick with the plan on this one. I might make a second one of these and actually do it maybe in diamond plate instead of just regular uh, aluminum. Uh, I might do it in diamond plate, and with the diamond plate one, I think I'll do a Floyd Rose. And that way I'll order the correct uh, parts and everything. But since I already have all the parts for this one, instead of putting this one on hold, because I'm waiting for the paint to dry on the uh, the bunny head guitar. Uh, so, yeah, I'll just stick with the plan. Uh, stop and tailpiece, uh, 81 active, single coil, uh, passive, and a selector switch, and uh, just a volume knob. And I'll stick with the plan on that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do, and I thought I'd do this inside the top two pieces already glued together. I'll do the bevels first, and that will give that plenty of time to dry while everything else is working. So I'll get out the Bondo and start applying that. And then that'll be it for today. I'll do the Bondo. Do the, uh, I won't do the sanding, but I'll do the placement. So, all right, because uh, tonight I'm actually going to go see... Uh, Black Stone Cherry at the uh, at in uh, Destin, Florida tonight. Uh, my next door neighbor wants to go see the band uh, Black Stone Cherry. I guess they have the uh, song. Their popular song is the Redneck or uh, Trailer Park Millionaire or whatever something like that. But anyway, so all right, let me get the next step. Let me get the bondo out, and we'll see you in a sec. All right, got my first layer's uh, body filler in there, and I'll sand this smooth and flatten it until it's nice and perfect. But yeah, it's turning out awesome. Let me show you this. It's <laughs> pretty cool. All right, we're gonna let this harden and do a little sanding on it, and then we'll see you in a bit. All right. All right, another quick update. Just the conclusion of today's progress. Yeah, I'm gonna call it a day today. Got to relax a little bit, have something to eat. Anyway, uh, it's turned out pretty good. I'm still not done with this. I'm still going to refine it and make it more perfect, but this is just rough. But yeah, it's looking pretty cool. It's turning out really cool, like I kind of was hoping it would. Yeah. So, yeah, got a lot done today so far. And we will continue tomorrow. Yeah, the, uh, the bubbles are really cool. This thing's going to look really cool with that aluminum uh, piece on the top with the screws and the rivets and everything. Yeah, I can't wait till this one is finished. This is uh, it's pretty bad to the bone. Alright, this is a uh, conclusion for today's progress on the Michael Batio Rocket Electric Guitar. Looking good so far. And I uh, hope everybody has a good day. And we'll pick this back up tomorrow and have some fun. Alright, talk to y'all later.